Isaac in the building. Welcome to the show, my G. Thank you very much for coming on. Uh, in the comments, uh, we, we just going to jump right into it, bro. In the comments, uh, you 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 said that uh, you rocked out for uh, CR England uh, for about 18 months and you wanted to come on and share your experience uh, with them. What? What what's up with uh CR England? What 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 you want the people to know about them, man? Well, CR England is they got, I'm sorry, it's just a lot of background noise on your end. I'm, I'm just trying to make sure I don't repeat myself. Hello? There you go, man. Go ahead. Hello. Go ahead. Okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, well with CR England, you know, uh I was it was fifteen months. I started in July of twenty nineteen and you know, I said my final goodbyes in November of last year 2020 so roughly about 14 15 months and don't get me wrong if you want to get your foot in the door and you know with me i had a lot of i had a lot of issues with my license so a lot of people wouldn't take me so i can't really fault them but so much because they did give me my start now i did i went when i get when i was here england i'm from virginia the southeast hampton roads area they put me on a greyhound and they sent me to indiana uh burns harbor uh the burns harbor area to uh, oh. go to school for 17 oh. days oh. hold on my g let me let me back you up there for a minute let me back you up there because you 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 mentioned you had some uh issues back in the day so let's uh let's uh let's take it back man uh how, how long have you been driving about two years. Two years. All right. So with the two, so out of the two years, what you what you was into before you got into trucking? Uh, you name it, I was probably into it. I was a server. I did construction jobs. I ran a tire shop for five years. Um, I was an assistant manager at uh at Marshalls. I've had a lot of different jobs. It's nothing just was anything worth anything I could take care of a family. It was, I could take care of my family, but you know. It was like on a check to check basis, kind of hard working, crazy amount of hours for a little bit amount of money. Right, I feel you. I feel you, man. I, I, I that's that's what I was, how I was back in the day, check to check, trying to make sure I just try to make ends to meet, man. That's that's all it is. Uh, what what made you get into what what made you get into trucking though? I mean, I've always been interested in, but like uh, interested in it for years. But like I said, I had some license issue, I, license issue. I eat my license was suspended for a long time, and you know, due to unpaid fines and not having the money, you got to choose between bills or pay a fine. So I chose bills, of course. But I was finally able to get my license back. And driving is one of the one of the very few things that just is common to me. It relaxes me, and I don't have a problem doing it for a living. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I get to see something different every day. All right. It's not like it's not like I'm. Uh, sorry. It's about, like you know. Uh, sorry I'm, about that. Go oh, ahead. You go. You go, brother. Uh, no, no, no. It's, I, it's I was... not like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm. Every, you know, every time you talk, I'm muting the. I'm muting the mic. But every time you say something, it kind of catch me on a kind. Kind of catch me, and I wanted to get in right quick before you forget. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got. You. So got you said. So you said. Uh, you you had license issues back in the day. Uh, it sounded like something yeah. that I. Sounded like something I went through because I I had. Uh, you know, I had my license suspended for a little bit. I drove, uh, I I drove my car without my license for a while until I actually got yep, yep. until I actually got hemmed up again. But luckily, uh, I was able to get my license back uh, without having to pay no reinstation. Uh, reinstation, reinstate, reinstation. You guys know re, 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 reinstatement, reinsta yeah, reinstatement. Yeah, yeah. Without no reinstatement yeah. fee, man. Uh, they was like, they was like, I, I, I drove for so long that they was like, you didn't have to pay no fee. Just come back up there, sign, you know, just fill out the paperwork, go and take the test, and you got your license back. But did that work out for you? How, how did it work out for you? It, it was, it was pretty much the same deal. The only difference is I had to pay an uninsured motorist fee, which was like five hundred dollars in my state. Um, I had to pay that before I had to pay that and a reinstatement fee. So it was roughly about six fifty to get my license back versus like you know the thousands of dollars I got thrown in my head for unpaid fines. And I was able to have a friend who was blessed enough to loan me the money to get the uh, to get my license back. All right, so that's what's up, man. That's what's up. So what about uh, 
All right, so you got your license back. Uh, you you still working? So what was your what was your interest in trucking come from? You know, being being my own boss. You know, ultimately, just just of course, the money aspect of it is going to attract anybody. You know, it's not it's for, when you break it down, it's not that hard of work for a high income, but it's a lot of it's a lot of risk and a lot of sacrifices you got to make coming into trucking. But you know, you have to look at it like you have to sacrifice now to benefit later. I'm 36 now, and like I said, I've been driving for two years. I didn't want to wait till I was 60, 65, 70 to start enjoying or try to enjoy the fruits of my labor. I wanted to get in something to where I can make it my own business, make it my own, and I don't have constantly somebody breathing down my shoulder or dealing with, you know, the the work place fiascos that goes on in different places you know exactly hey, man buddy. exactly i you know that's i was 45 when i came in I, I i came in at uh at 45 some say 45 is 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 still too old to be uh coming in but so far i mean so far within you know five years uh six years of trucking so far it's been uh it's been it's been a good thing for me man i i just out here enjoying life so you so instead of why why did you chose going to cr england for your license versus going to uh going to get your license through the school well just to, just to plainly put it i had bills i had to pay and the school at the time that one that that, uh, that I was gonna go to, um, I had to pay a three hundred dollar deposit, and I didn't get paid till like Friday. And this is like on a Monday. I told them, I asked them, can I pay it for them on Friday to get my spot, and it should go for thirty days to get my license. You know, come Friday to pay my pay for my spot to get my uh, to get into the school. They had gave my spot away, and I had to wait another month for another you know another spot to come open. Mm. And I really wasn't trying to wait. So a friend of mine who uh, he was driving for Prime at the time told me uh you know just start filling out applications and i had by that by this time i had already got my permit it was like it was like a quick process with me too like when i said i wanted to do i wanted to do it i got my license right, reinstated right. in the end of april i got my permit i got my permit at the like the first week of may and i had a uh, i had a custody court date i had to go to in july so i had to wait till like the later the later part of july to actually be able to start school and everything else like that and how it ended up uh, how i ended up choosing cr england um they actually weren't the first company i chose um i tried prime where my boy was but since i had my, i hadn't had my license back long enough they wouldn't take me uh, oh nice wait a minute wait 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 hold up hold up you mean to tell me Prime didn't take you because you 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 just got your license back. So what was what was the point on that? I mean, at least you had your license and your permit. Why why did Prime yeah, they, why did Prime didn't give you the opportunity, man? Man, Prime Prime just had a lot of different. I guess it was insurance reasons. I guess that's what the recruiter told me. Said that for insurance reasons that you have to have your license consistent for a, a certain amount of time. Oh, okay. And then they told me I could. I told me I couldn't rock with them. Um, U.S. Express said the same thing. Uh, Knight said the same thing. Oh. I never tried Swift. And so what ended up happening is the two companies that I ended up, ended up coming down to was CR England and TMT. And if you don't know TMT, TMT is a flatbed company, right? Which I hear I hear a lot of I hear a lot of good things about, right? You know, I initially got in the door with TMC. Everything is all good the way. The only thing that was holding me up is that What's with my haircut? last job manager, I told you. <laughs> No, 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 no. I never, <laughs> never had a uh, never had a problem with the. Uh, Never had a problem with the drug test. Trust and believe that. I uh, no, not, not the that drug, ever. not 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 the drug test. My uh, my guy, uh, I I talked to him about a year ago. He was accepted in TMC, but the only thing was he had to cut his hair. Like he had dreads, so. Oh, I rock a ball. I, I rock a ball fade. Me, I rock a ball fade anyway. So that that was uh, it. Okay, but okay. I, 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 I initially I was gonna choose TMC, but it was some kind of like admin mix up between them trying to verify them and my previous employer who I was leaving at the time trying to avoid uh, verify my appointment and this kind of back and forth went on for about about a month and a half or so. What? So whoa, whoa, I got TMC? tired of it. Trying yeah, to, they couldn't verify my employment. Wait, what? what they were, like, uh, your regular employment? 
Yeah, they was just trying to verify my regular job to see I had a work history or whatnot. What, you, and they couldn't you, verify my last place of employment. They they could tell a, they they could, well, you know, because of federal uh for for federal you had to you had to show at least a the least amount is three years, the 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 far back is ten. So when I came in, yeah. I, when I came in, I, I actually went to the social, what was that? The social security office. And I just had them to print out, uh, give me a printout of all the jobs that use my social security card. And God damn it, man. I had about, I got, uh, I think I still got it. I got a book. <laughs> I, I did not realize yeah, I, I did not realize that I was like I was like job to job since uh since 16 bro yeah I, and I, I was I was pretty I was pretty much the same way you know it was just like I got that was that was another reason I got tired of uh, like you know I, not not got tired but the reason I wanted to go in the truck and I got tired of the job the job thing I wanted something to where you know I can make a career out of this you know 10 15 20 years down the line I'm doing something because not only is it taking care of the needs I need to take care of but I actually enjoy it you know mm -hmm. and I couldn't find that in the job. You know, some of these jobs out here, you work, you work for five, ten, and fifteen years, and still ain't making no money nowhere, or you exactly. ain't progressing anywhere. Exactly. You know, and I didn't, and I'm like, man, I, I, I do. You want to break your back for these companies and do everything you can to move up in this ladder, but they want to move you up when they're ready to move you up. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Versus in trucking, like I said, I spent fifteen months with CR England. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of it was. A, I got some good memories and I got some bad memories. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that boy like, slowed it down. Some bad memories. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was just like I tell people all the time. This is like if you just if you want to get your foot in the door with trucking, if you want to you want to learn how to drive a truck, or you want to go go somewhere, you just want to get your foot in the door. Go by all means, go to CR England. But depending on where you live at. Mm -hmm. Or where your where your home state is is going to really determine whether you want to stay with that company or not. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not the type of person like to get complacent. I don't want to be like, okay, this is fine. I'm good with this and everything. I just stick it. I'm not that type of person. Mm -hmm. I'm always trying to move upwards. You know, what I'm saying trying to get somewhere. And I couldn't see myself doing that with CR England. Mm -hmm. One of the first reasons why I wanted to leave in the first place, I always wanted to try the lease program. You know, to try it out, walk away, see you know trial and error before you know I get away from the lease and go actually you know put some money on the truck. But, you know, you probably know, like everybody else knows, the, the Sierra England no longer has a lease program due to a lawsuit that they lost right, right. between they, them and the drivers. Yeah, they, you know? they, 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 they was uh, leasing, and then after that lawsuit, they, they, they're fully uh, company drivers. But let's back it up for a little bit. So you, so you, got, you, 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 you went to CR England. You went through their CDL program. You got your CDLs through them. Uh, the, uh, you you rocked out for eighteen months, so obviously you you fulfilled the contract pretty much, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. I, I, feel, I fulfilled that contract through and through. You know, I was at first when I first started, like I was listening to your uh the one the video I left the comment on when the guy was talking about Hirschbach, mm -hmm. and he started at CR England where he said most guys leave in ninety days mm -hmm. and get a job, you know, somewhere else, and they just pay that off. That was initially my plan too. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't lying. Most drivers that come over there, they want to get over there, get just get enough, get just enough experience. Mm -hmm. So the next company they go to, they don't have to go through training again, and then they just pay it off regular wise. <laughs> and I thought about it like this. I'm like, man, I'm gonna just rock out for a while. You know what I'm saying? To what I lead them, I don't owe them nothing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? All right. But, so, when you, so, but, so you know, so so when you when you was in, I mean, when you during the training phase. What was what was the amount? Well, what was the amount that they initially offered you after you got your license? Um. Okay. When I was in training, mm -hmm. it was five eighty a week. I don't. I don't know what it is now. Maybe it went up. It may have went down. But while I was in training, it was five hundred and eighty dollars a week, and it was based on like basically you get paid a set amount was like eighty five dollars or something like that a day, right. based on availability. But if you're always in a truck, you're gonna that's what you're gonna get. That's like the 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 base amount that you're and, gonna get. You and know, and this what I'm is with and this and this is with training. So you're you're actually seated yeah. in a trainer's truck. So was yeah. you how how many how many trainers you went through? Was it just one, two, or? 
I, I lucked out at the end of the end up getting one trainer. Okay. Granted, I was in training with him for a little bit longer than the average trainer person because they upped the hours. At first, they wanted you to do 140 hours behind the wheel. Mm -hmm. Then right when I was hitting 140 hours, they upped it to 180 hours. Why, then, you, you know, were my still doing 180? Things. I mean, were well, you were still doing 140? Yeah, bro. I was in like a hundred and thirty. I was like a hundred and thirty-two hours, and they put this mandate out that you got to do a hundred and eighty hours. Wait, why did they put that Please mandate? Say, uh, why did they put that mandate on you? You was already grandfathered in on the one forty. That's and, and and that's honestly what I thought too. But they they said no that you got to go ahead and do the one eighty. It was it was some revamp they were doing with training or something. It was some it, it was some it was some crazy. Right, yeah, it was right. it was craziness. That's some but I looked right out. There. I had a. I had a really good trainer, you know. Um, I my, like like the last guy said, training was only seventeen days. Mm -hmm. And also, sad, sad note, I'm gonna tell anybody this: that if you go to CR England or any trucking company that's gonna give you a school, even though some some are better than others, I know KLLM has a really good trucking school. Mm -hmm. But if you go to CR England for trucking school, make sure you have a couple like a, a couple hundred dollars set to the side just to provide for yourself while you're there, because. The only thing that CR England does for you in terms of school is get you there and house you, nothing else. Mm. You're responsible for all your meals, everything. You know, they're not responsible for nothing. So if you go up there flat broke, you you pretty much gonna starve. That you know, and that's and, and that's for ev that's that's for everything, not just schooling, but even if you're going in for orientation, even if you're going in yeah. for you know, yeah, even if you're going in uh, you know, just uh, you know, to rock out within the first uh first couple of first couple of months, you you gonna, I I say to bring yourself a a, a credit card and at least, I, I'll say the low end about three hundred, the high end about five hundred, if 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 yeah. you could, but you're definitely gonna need that because. Number one, like you said, you're going to need to feed yourself. The company's not going to do it, even though they turn around and say they do. But, you know, but let's say if you happen to flunk the drug test, it's not up to the company to get you home. If you flunk the drug test, yeah. they're going to if you flunk the drug test, boom, you're going to have to get home on your own. And then you'll be, oh, well, they got me up here and they can't get me back home. It's not their responsibility. You should have been clean Ooh, before man. you got up there. <laughs> exactly, yeah, no. and, that, and, that, and that's and that's the crazy part about it is like I've had our homeboys and people ask me all the time how do they get in the uh, like you know how what they got to do to get their CDL. And I said a lot of people think it's hard to get their CDL. It's really not. Mm -mm. You go to the DMV, mm -hmm. take the t take the three tests or whatever your state requires. Mm -hmm. Get your DOT physical before you go. Mm -hmm. If you smoke or do anything, I heard you say six months. Mm -hmm. I say four months if you go if you're going to the gym. If you go to the gym two or three times a week for four months. Everything is in your system going to be sweated out because oh, okay. it's not just piss anymore. They're, they're taking hair as well, too. And the reason why I know how going to the gym works, it was a guy in a class of me. We was in class in February. Mm -hmm. I mean, excuse me, a class in, in July. Mm -hmm. He stopped smoking in February, and he had lost probably about 30 pounds probably from going to the gym just trying to sweat <laughs> it all out. You know what I'm saying? So we got and, so we, we, we got a hey, – guys, this, hey, hey, that's one to grow on, kids. Y'all can, can get your workout on and get your sweat out on at the same time, man. I mean – yeah, that's that, not that's not a bad idea because a lot of guys that come in Facebook, especially Facebook, because I'm I'm in a lot of Facebook groups and 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 the main question that always come, hey, uh, what do I need to do to detox uh, from smoking weed every day? And I'm over here like, well, for starters, you you shouldn't be smoking weed every day, considering the fact that you want to come in to drive it. So, but yeah, yeah, that's not a, that's, that's not a bad, uh, that's not a bad advice, man, bro. That, that is some good freaking advice of, uh, working out for four months to sweat out the, you know, to sweat out the chemicals yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's the, that's the purest way you're going to be able to detox in and how I learned, I went to job corps back in the day mm -hmm. and that's what the nurse told us. And she was like, the only other way, if you, cause like, like I said, I've never failed a drug test, but she would tell the people that if you failed a drug test, you have 45 days to get it out of your system. And she said, the only way by getting out of your system is you have to sweat it out, which means that you need, you need to take your ass to the gym. 
you need to do something within the 45 days, you know, to get this, to get it out your system, to make so you'll be good. If not, they're gonna send you home. Here's a, it's the same thing with like. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. With, with go CR ahead. England, they tell you that the recruiter, and now don't listen to the recruiters. The recruiters will tell you they're gonna, they're gonna pick any truck company you go out here, make especially a big box. They're going to drug test. They're gonna make you piss, but right. they're gonna take hair as well too. Right. You know what I'm saying? When they take hair, they say they go back oh about four months. That's not the case. It was a, I've heard it was a story I heard about a girl. She she uh, did everything like I said. Went to the gym. They went back. They they went back four months and didn't find none. They said they went back. They went back some additional time on her and found something from there. It was it was something crazy. It was like hard to believe, but it was it was still you know they and it wasn't just. And when they when I say drug test, they mean every sense in the word. Just just not weed or any kind of hard sense to use to get high. I'm talking about prescription pills or anything. Because when I took my uh when I took my drug test, they called me initially. If you're on some type of if like they find some type of prescription medicine in your system, mm -hmm. they're going to call you and ask you what the prescription is for and where'd you get it from, so they can verify it. Other than that, it's gonna, they're gonna clear it out. But if you if you like basically taking oxycodone or Percocet, so you know how people out here like popping pills that mm -hmm. you know ain't theirs. If you got that stuff in your system, I, I don't that I don't know how to get out your system, honestly. Mm -hmm. But if you got something like that, you just stop doing it. Now you know what, uh, you, you know what, with this, with this drug test now, now that clearinghouse is in effect right now. If you if you flunk if if you do flunk that initial drug test, is it, it's unfortunate that uh, with clearinghouse is making it a little bit harder to to just go to the next company, take another drug test, and if you pass it, get on. You you still got to clear up. Uh, the it the, the clear up the clearing house before you 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 able to get on with another company regardless if you pass or not. Exactly. All right. So see, and like oh go ahead. What you was about to say? No 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 go ahead go go, uh, go ahead. Right, you, to, you good? I was about to say so. Cr England uh, five eighty. Wow. That's crazy. Five <laughs> five eighty for a hundred and eighty hours of of driving. After you got finished driving and you pretty much upgraded to your own truck, what was what was the cent per mile you was getting then? Um it, it honestly it depended. It depends. Because if once once you get there, my advice if you don't cut <clears throat> If you don't go to truck driving school with somebody you cool with or your girlfriend, husband, fiance, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. get somebody, find somebody that you can mesh with while you're there. I say maybe you're maybe the person you're sharing a room with while you're in school, mm -hmm. if they're going to stay. If they got the same mindset as you and y'all vibe, y'all could possibly good, good, be good, uh, good train, good, uh, a good team. team. The okay. only downside is how it is when y'all when y'all go train, when y'all go train, when y'all go to orientation, y'all go train, it's going to be three people to a truck. Yeah, we we know you see that. What I'm saying? Now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's three it's three people to it's three people to a truck when they do that. Now, as far as coming out of training and getting to sit on the truck, it was just me. I was I was split. It was giving me half of what the bottom end solo drivers was making. So if I was a team, it was like they were giving solo drivers like thirty five cents a mile. So me and another person would be splitting seventeen. We would we would get seventeen cents a mile starting out, wait. and it gradually increased every wait. every thirty days. Wait 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 six wait. months. Wait 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 wait. You 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 went out teaming. Yeah, well, with CR England, first six months out the gate, you got a team drive. Okay, before so, you can do anything solo. What what you you mean seriously? Dead serious, bro. They would not let you go solo on anything. Like, they changed it. They used to let you go out the gate solo, but nah. Like, for instance, when I got on the truck teaming, when my uh, when my first partner picked me up from uh, Upgrade at the hotel, I went back to Indiana to Upgrade, mm -hmm. um, luckily. And the guy, the, my first teammate to pick me up, he was already making 24 cents a mile. You know what I'm saying? And I was at 17. Ugh. Yeah, it, it, it won't no. It won't no. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. They they putting two new jacks on the truck, teaming. Am I am I'm getting yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They two. put two new. Sometimes it was two 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 people brand new, fresh out of training. Both of them ain't got zero experience on the road, and they on the truck by themselves. No, 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 no. When no, I got no, in the no, truck no, with my no, team. No, 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 no. Wait. Two new jacks. Say, like, you just got there, and maybe that new jack 
that pitch you up that's doing, what'd you say, 27? That new jack right there. 24. Uh, 24. So that new jack right there, probably two months in. And then you bring. He was four, month, he oh, was he four was, months in. All right, so <laughs> he's, he's four months in. You new jack just now coming in. Uh, bro, that's. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I, 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 if that was me, which I'm glad it isn't, but if that was me, I would feel some kind of way. Like, yo, don't, don't, don't put me on the truck with a new jack. I mean, both of us is still. If you're going, if if they're going to do that, why not put you on the truck with with a with an experience with with at least a year of experienced driver, at least. I, I, and yeah, I'm going that, at least a year. Not just two brand new dudes that's still trying to that's still trying to figure it out. And they and they they whole thing was well they can learn they can learn from each other and watch out for each other as they grow they can learn from each other that's that's uh-uh. that's what their concept of it was uh-uh. you know which was which was crazy to me and my first team I only had two teammates uh, mm-hmm. my first teammate he uh he was real he was real disgruntled with them like you know I, um, what ended up leading me to your YouTube page was a video my girl sent me mm-hmm. on your TikTok page about. The message of uh, somebody saying home time is the privilege. Yeah. And I was talking to her about that. I was like, hey, you know, I wish somebody would tell me home time is a privilege. <laughs> you out here paying. <laughs> and you talk about home time is a privilege? I think not. Yeah. But he was he was he was real disgruntled. He hadn't been he hadn't been home the whole time he had been on the road and he had requested it. And he was from Detroit. I never forget it. He was from Detroit and we had a pickup in Grand Rapids, Michigan okay. that was going to some it was going to somewhere in Texas. Okay. And he asked them, he was like, So since I'm in Grand Rapids, he was like, My house is like a hundred miles away. Right. He was like, So since this is my hometown where I'm gonna do this pickup and I'm gonna go to the house and then he going he gonna drive or go head down to Texas with the load. They their thing was they told him like, No, nah, we want you to go ahead and proceed on route like you're delivering the load and we're gonna get you a swap with something coming back towards your house. Wow. And they had told him that so they had told him that so many times before and he was on the phone arguing with the dispatcher. It was his turn to drive, so he was the one in the in the, in the he was he was in the driver's seat getting loaded out and everything. I said screw okay. it, went in the back and went to sleep. Okay. By the time I wake up, we rolling now. So I'm like, okay, well I'm like, so what happened? We on the way to San Antonio? He's like, man, he he straight said fuck the people, I'm going home. I was like, I was like, where are we at? He's like, bro, I'm ten minutes from my house. <laughs> so so you- he, when he got there it went, <laughs> yeah, I, I ended up. Being, I was. A, I was. A, I ended up being. That was my. That was like my third run with him. Cause we had went. We had with the. Uh, we had with the jersey. I had. I had been home, and to get my CDL, of course, like that. And then we right. had been to uh, Arizona. Then from Arizona, we had a drop somewhere in Indiana. Then from Indiana, we went up to Grand Rapids. That's when he was like, "Fuck it," they, you know what I'm saying? Wait, and I ended up wait, being so back, back up. They. He's up in Grand Rapids. He he requested home time. He's up in Grand Rapids. They couldn't honor him to be home for for his thirty four. It was it wasn't even there. It was just him just requesting to go home for like two days. Oh, just, and with CR England, how they do with CR England, it's really like like the last guy was saying. You'll mess around and lose a good teammate behind them going home time. That's why sometimes that if me and you like say if it's me, you and I are teaming, mm-hmm. you for one place, you one place. Mm-hmm. If you take home time, I'm taking home time the same time as you. So when we get when you get ready to leave, we both leaving out together because what'll happen is. I would drop a, I would drop you off for home time and get back on the road and they can't find and they're trying to route me. But it'll be like a week before they can route me back to you and you only wanted to take two three or two or three days off. And next thing you know, I'm they put somebody else on my truck in your place and you getting on somebody else's truck. Mm, mm, mm. So they, wow, that's that's crazy and that's what I was talking about. Like when when you do teaming. I mean, both of y'all really got a mesh. Both of y'all really got a vibe with each other. So I'm agreeing with you. When when it's time for when it's time to do home time, look, I'll drop you off at home. I'll go at home. We'll do home time. Bam, 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 boom. Then I'll come back and pick you up, and then we're back on the road. But you you got to find a partner. Yeah. You got to find a partner that 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 really that really got a mesh like that because yeah, things like that will happen if. If 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 y'all not if y'all not meshing with each other, so I'm gonna assume he's pretty much a done deal with uh, Cr England after he went home. 
Yeah, this was like, yeah, he just he just told her, I was like, what you want me to say? He's like, tell him I got off the truck. He's like, take it easy. <laughs> went into the house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, I got, I got, I. I got in the, I got in the driver's seat and proceeded on to Texas, and they ended up swapping my load out for somewhere. The, well, swapping my load out with somebody in Kentucky, mm-hmm. but it's actually crazy how that's how I ended up getting on the uh, truck with my second teammate, who's you know crazy. She's my girl.